Welcome with us, folks. Thank you for watching tonight's edition. We are looking at um, the special sauce that we played on Friday, and I'm I'm just trying to make you understand exactly what's happening and why we decided to be in the money for same day expiration and why it's what I believe to be a safer play than playing something that will be out of the money. And look at this play. This is the MU that we alerted very, very close to the, um, to the open. And this yellow line that you're looking at is support. So as soon as we break that support, we get above it, um, we are on still remaining on the buyer's side because you all know that these guys previous day, right? They bought at this line and they started rising, right? Same thing. If we go, if we lose this line, basically their stop losses from these guys, their stop losses will be triggered as soon as they hit under the line. So we're entering the seller's side. So we expect a downside, which is the previous day on Thursday. Now, where you look at the next support. Now, next support is this high, right? It rejected and then it went down it started, there's a wick up and then it popped through. So the next line down to me is very close to this line here. So it's close to 73. We are 73.23 on this bottom and this is close to 73. So we decided to go 73. It's already in the money. And what happens is as soon as we start climbing, we go, Delta will go, nearly in one to one, meaning that as soon as we climb for one cent uh, on the ticker, the premium will take one cent as well. So this is very close to one to one on Delta. Um, meaning that if we buy in this particular case, we alerted for, um, I believe it was 64 cents on the 73s when we alerted here. So it's 64 cents. We're already in the money. So if it goes down to 73, support that we're looking at in this vicinity here, it still has some value because the option is the right to buy the ticker at your strike price at expiration. So if, it, if it's above 73 at expiration, the premium will still have some value. It will not be zero. So we're talking about buying something at 64 cents here. We still have a day to go before expiration. Uh, well, the inch, the day we're trading. Um, my, uh, my idea was to get to at least this high, which is um, 74.90. The idea is Friday, make some money, and then you go, obviously this top that you're looking at is where it stopped. Why? Because it's the true and real um, uh, resistance. However, it's I, I really like to have the last resistance as a target for Friday because it's safer and we made our money that way. So basically reminding, uh, just I'm just rewinding just a little bit to show you. We're taking 73, so it's already in the money. Look at where it's 73.23 breaking. So it's 73s because we believe that support is at 73. We could even have gone to something like 72 because that's the real support, right? You could have taken 72s. Uh, however, my expectations were just to go only this high, which is, you know, I'm looking for some for profit as well on this play. But like I said, 72s would have been just as safe, even safer. Uh, however, profit potential would be a little minimized for that. So we're taking something that is in the money already. We're looking for a um, our initial support and something that even if it gets to the next support line, we're still in the money to remain the value on the premium. So this was for the MU play. We entered here at 64 and we sold on first target at 103, which is um, quick and super happy with that. Now let's go to the next play. We alerted Netflix and let me just switch to Netflix here. And this is what happened. 
Um, Netflix started a day dropping. Um, here it is. It's dropping at the uh, at the gate, and SPY was moving up. So we're going against the grain here, thinking it's going to bounce. But look what it did. It went up like this uh, on the first bounce, and then it went down. This is precisely where my interest was. I'll show you exactly why. Right? Let's get out of here for a second. We need to zoom out and. What I usually do, I'll put my line right here, you know, it's a close to 584. And you look back, on the five minute, there's nothing much. So I zoom out, I go to the one hour, and I'll see what, you know, what sort of interest do we have here. Oh, okay. Um, you know, it's very close to this support line. See, there's a wick down and another wick, and then here is 583. What is this here, right? There's one here, there's one there. Here we have some turbulence area, and then it tried, it didn't make it, and then it popped through. And here we are, bouncing on this particular line. Now, the idea is to be taking, um, is to take a strike that is in the money and that will remain its value even if we go down to the next support line. So, where's the next support line? Um, let's look. We have here, if we go down to next support, well, we have the 200 EMA, which is 582. Um, we have something, you know, this top here of this, the wick that we have. Um, let me put right on it. This is the top here, 581, 80-ish. And then we have the wick. Let me draw it for you right here. This, this is all on a one-hour chart. The wick down there and there's, there's another one on top here it's close to 580 so if we go 580 this is good support and i mean we're not looking at taking this this play for days it, it's only for a few minutes right and what we're looking at is at the next target so let's go back to the five minute for that and you'll see exactly what i mean and it's the same idea as what we played with the um mu just previously so the idea was to go back to exactly this here we are taking this on a double bottom so we entered there and the idea is to rise one to one on the play to 580 uh 589.50 which is this here right we got there which is the five and the uh five minute 200 ema and also you know it bounced it tried up to this line and then it tank obviously it's going to do the same thing when it goes up it's going to test the line and then see what it did accumulated and then it went through but the idea is not to hope the idea is to make some money and move on so this is pretty much what we did we entered this safe play 580s because we were on 585 or 584 something and we paid uh 475 Yes, you're paying a little more, but you have value. If we were to close here, 584, basically, you'll be the value will be four four dollars if we close at four uh, 584. So, the risk is minimum. Uh, if we drop to 580, well, obviously that's when you'll start losing value. But this double bottom, you're paying literally. Uh, $75 for this 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 risk of making the double of that because this is what we made we made precisely 100% on target 950 and if your target was only a uh, dollar higher which would have been you know 575 ish I don't think it's really worth it but the, the idea behind this play here was that was what was to make it from this back to the first resistance line which was there and this was enough and five dollars to make us go to a uh, full 100 percent play so you understand the thing eh? here is support and you're buying something that if we were to close at this level would still have value in the play i understand it's middle of the day you only have only a few hours until the end of the day but this will remain its value if it stays flat and decay will be minimal. Uh, the idea that we had was we go for a bounce, 
take your money. I know some of the members went for uh, 50%, 20%, 30%, doesn't matter. The idea is to be green on a safe play. And we also did Roku, and let me go to Roku here. Now we're playing Roku, Roku and Netflix together. Um, I'm not saying that they always move together, but when one, in this particular case, when one drops, it, I believe both of them were dropping for, for a reason, and both of them were about to bounce for a reason. However, the, the chart was a little different, and we saw it come down to a certain point. It rejected the 50 uh, EMA, and it came down to exactly where I started having interest in the play, which is... Um, uh, exactly here where it was just I think it was just a little higher than uh, 319 but it was close to 320 and look at what I was looking at previous day it dropped to a certain line let me draw that for you it had a great day on Thursday but look at Wednesday it went it was on on that line that yellow line support it went up and it dragged its feet all the way down to, to the line, bounced on the line, and then started being bullish. Now this morning, it dropped just a hair under with kind of, you know, good volume for a Friday. And then it stopped on the uh, 50 EMA, which is the red line. And then it came back down precisely on that same level. Now this is what that was drawing, well, it, it really drew my attention on the fact that, well, it, this has a good potential of being bullish. Now, this low of the day was the stop line. However, we were still above 317.5. So the idea, if we take 317.5 and we drop to this line at expiration, it will still be worth on this line, you know, in 317-ish or even more. But where we are entering, if it if we were to trade flat to the till the end of the day 317 fives let's call this 320 they will still be worth 250 right because it's 317 5 plus 250 the premium is 320 remember it's the right to buy the ticker at your strike at expiration now who would pay 250 for a break-even not a lot of people however you know if if it's uh, 321 would you pay more than 320 to get something at 321 of course you would you'd pay more than that so basically as soon as you start rising above that 320 you know it, it, it starts making money and we were a little bit above the um, 320 line, if I recall, because uh, I paid three precisely. Let me get rid of all this uh, blue here. Played the 317.5. Played uh, paid three 320. For, uh, pardon me. Uh, we played 320 for it. So let me zoom in a bit. So the plan was to move back from support, which is close to 320, up to at least here, which was, um, I believe I called 321.61-ish in, in chat. So it wasn't as good as other plays, but because my point was we're going to go from here to there so we are looking at a dollar 61 rise on the option that we're buying so we're playing three we're buying at 320 we're looking to to at least sell at you know dollar um, sorry 461 will be 81 right more so it's the 320 plus the, the rise of dollar 61 this is more or less because it's the delta is about one to one. So the idea is to sell at about 481. Um, we managed to sell a little higher because it went, it kept on going and we sell for, we sold for uh, 490. 
So in the end, the plan really worked. The idea was to, to be on a safe side, playing something that was on support with value. Even if we stayed there, it wouldn't be a problem. And we're playing same day expiration that, you know, you go from 320 to 490 with very little movement for pretty good profit. So all these three trades were precisely the same idea, same day expiration. We're trying to be safe with remain, re retaining some of the values of the, um, on the premiums if we were to go south and, or, or sideways and have a target that is achievable within a range that has a very li limited resistance all the way to there. And we made, we made that sauce, that recipe uh, work three times. Same sauce, same recipe, and it worked three times. So I hope you're learning something. I hope it, this is clear enough. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to DM me. Uh, if you're new to this, please subscribe to the, to the, um, to the channel. And, you know, hit the thumbs up. That helps us out. Thank you very much. Have a good one, folks.